Aloha! How's it, Grasshopper? Gruz God, un anayaseo. Welcome to part two. Today's sugar time is battle installation. Before we begin, a disclaimer. Me, myself, and I, Savage Arms, ER Shaw Barrels, Midway, Lumlich Gun Parts Corporation, YouTube, and Google, and any and all entities not mentioned but in the video are not liable and responsible for viewer who misuses and or misunderstand that causes bodily injuries and or property damages. Viewer assumes absolute and all responsibilities and liabilities for use of the contents in this video. Before installing the barrel, we need to uh, make some uh, headspace gauges. This portion of the um, block of instruction, you need um, 300 Winchester Magnum cases, 458 Winchester Magnum die. This is a lead pay setter dies, and uh, resizing lubricant. And uh, these cases already has been um, resizing uh, loop has been applied, and. Um, I have replaced the factory lock ring with the RCBS with the uh, uh, set screw so that the, I don't have to change it all the time. With the uh, shot holder in place, load the uh, ram up, all the way up, and then uh, this is a full uh, sizing, uh, full sizing die, and a screw down until it touches the uh, shot holder. Then uh, load the ram. Okay, watch this one here. This is a one quarter, this is a one eighth, and I'll turn it about um, one sixteenth turn to remove any um, gaps right there. And then I will size the cases. Again, now this is a 300 Winchester Magnum case in a uh, uh, 458 Winchester Magnum full um, sizing die. Now clean up the uh, loop. And then I will check using the uh, 458 Winchester Magnum barrel. The head space gauge is ready. This uh, barrel installation, block of instruction, you need, of course, the uh, barrel and um, barrel with action with the bolt, receiver screw, allen key, you have a torque wrench and um, a barrel nut wrench and uh, this is um, the Wheeler's receiver action wrench too with uh, aluminum pieces to protect the uh, receiver. I won't be using this um, bar, I don't need it at all. And then also a uh, crescent wrench, of course, you need a um, savage uh, nut breaker. And the lastly, the uh, 6 to 7 inch vise. Action wrench insulation to the uh, receiver. Make sure that when you're installing the uh, receiver screw, make sure it's a hand tight. There we go. That's installed. And now the top. And tighten the uh, bolts evenly. I'm looking at the uh, the space between the two bolts, and then you put this in the vise. Make sure that uh, you have a uh, clearance for the uh, nut wrench, 
and tighten the vise. Since uh, this is the uh, older rifle, the barrel nut is uh, round, so now use the um, nut wrench on the round side. Make sure that the, uh, you don't scratch the uh, finish when you're installing this uh, nut wrench. And hit it. Yeah, I'll put that on there. And again, take it off and make sure you don't scratch the barrel and screw off. And we'll be reusing the uh, barrel lug. And uh, here is the uh, 458 Winchester Magnum. Big hole. <laughs> And uh, lug. Let's clean up the inside, inside the uh, receiver. Uh, when you're using the uh, compressor, uh, make sure you have the uh, safety glasses on. Any debris in there, it, it will uh, it will be like a pistol. And the uh, WD-40 on the barrel nut and the. Uh, Lug, barrel lug. Wipe off the excess and screw in. And at this time, I'm gonna insert the uh, and I'm going to uh, turn in until it touches. I mean, it's not going anymore. I'm holding the barrel lug in place and slightly imaginary line here. Well, better yet, I'll uh, use a pencil. Then right now is a touch of the bolt. Well, it makes a pretty good line there. I'm going to turn back out about a notch. Right there. I'm going to open the bolt. Now I'm going to insert the um, head space gauge. Now I'm going to back it out until it chambers. There you go. At this time, at right here, uh, the bolt engaged the, um, my case, so I'm going to look at it. What I uh, should have shown you is the um, the case do not had do not have any mark on it. Here's the other case. I don't know if you see the difference. As you can see, the shiny shiny mark, which is uh, all the way around. So what I would like to do is um, at least uh, one one eighth mark. Now I have to make a fresh mark. It just this just shows you how much you turn in to adjust the uh, headspace. You have to do this very small increments. And mark. I'm gonna put another one in. Now, <clears throat> I will tighten the nut, 
using the uh, torque wrench. I'm tightening it right now with uh, hand tight and then I'll use the torque wrench. Now I'm using Okay, now the uh, torque wrench and while I'm uh, tightening it, I'm looking at the um, foot pounds. Uh, it should be 35 pounds, which is right there. So one, two, three. Third mark. All right, here we go. That's it. 35 pounds. And uh, now my uh, Savage model Triple Uno is barreled in 458 Winchester Magnum. Look at that. That's a one heck of a big bore. Now I have all, all I have to do is uh, put it back into the stock and I'll be done. Snap it in there. So how much um, do you put on the front? About 35 to 40 pounds. So here's another one. minute mark between here to here one eighth mark that's what I wanted that means that this one is a-okay all right that's how you um <laughs> rebarrel rebarrel the um, 458 Winchester Magnum to Savage model triple uno and we'll see you at the range. Oh no, 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 no. Stay tuned for the uh, part three. Part three. Part three where um, I will be, yes, cartridge conversion. I'm, I'll be using a 300 Winchester mag to the uh, 458 Winchester mag. Stay tuned. Aloha. I'll make the uh, reference line on the barrel with the uh, receiver or the action wrench because when I uh, torque the barrel nut to 35 pounds barrel rotates with it so you have to compensate the barrel rotation and if the reference line is right of it that means you haven't uh, compensated the rotation not enough and if the reference point is left then you have compensated too much. So this is a, a trial and error. So you have to be, be patient.